Throughout history, many cultures have been fascinated with the notion of monsters in their oceans. However, some of these monsters appear over and over and have remained a mystery to this day. Here are 10 incredible sea monsters from mythology. Jormungandr, or the Midgard Serpent, is a sea creature that appears famously in Norse mythology. Real life sightings have been reported, however, people believe these could be basking sharks, sperm whales, or even plesiosaurs. The serpent is said to be so large that it can wrap itself around the whole earth and bite its tail. However, if it lets go of its tail, run, because legends say Ragnarok, or the apocalypse, will begin. Chihulu is a cosmic humanoid monster from the imagination of H.P. Lovecraft. First appearing in Lovecraft's The Call of Chihulu, it resides in the Earth's oceans. In the book, it is depicted to have squid tentacles on its face and dragon wings. The Kraken is an infamous mythological giant squid that is believed to have terrorised sailors for centuries. Supposedly living off the coast of Norway and Greenland, it has cemented its place in Norse tales. The Kraken has worked its way into pop culture, appearing in films, video games, television shows and literature. Watch out next time you go sailing. The Leviathan is a multi-headed sea serpent from Hebrew mythology. It has appeared in the Old Testament Bible, Psalms, the Book of Isaiah, the Book of Job and Book of Amos. The chaotic and life-threatening creature has made its way into modern vocabulary, as the term Leviathan is commonly used to describe any sea creature of large proportions. Although there have been many tales of sea serpents and sea dragons, some believe the 11-metre giant oarfish has been behind many of these. Scylla and Charybdis are a six-headed sea monster and a whirlpool respectively. These monsters were famously described by Homer in his Odyssey. He said that they resided on opposite sides of the Strait of Messina, between Sicily and Calabria. In the myth, sailors were met with a choice of two evils, either lose men to Scylla or lose their ship to Charybdis. Sirens are well-known mythological creatures that prey on sailors. They are female creatures that live near the surface of the water and lure sailors to their death. They use their beautiful music and appearance to enchant ships towards the rocks. They are sometimes depicted as half woman, half bird, and sometimes as mermaids. One of the more modern monsters is the terrible dogfish. Appearing in The Adventure of Pinocchio in 1883, it has been featured in various films, video games, and television series since. The beast is supposed to be at least 500 feet long, with three rows of teeth and a mouth large enough to swallow a train car. The sea bishop is a legendary fish that was reported to exist in the 16th century. According to legend, it was taken to Poland to the king, and whilst being shown to the Catholic bishops, it was released upon request. In 1531, another specimen was discovered, but passed away three days after capture, after refusing to eat. Another myth that has lived on to this day is the Capricorn. The half-god, half-fish is normally depicted as a sea goat. We still use the Capricorn today in astrology and have named star constellations after it. Legend states that all creatures in the sea must offer themselves up to Capricorn at some point. Umibozu is a sea creature from Japanese mythology, otherwise known as a sea priest. Legend has it that the sea priest can appear on calm waters and break ships in half. Some say that offering the Umibozu a bottomless barrel and sailing away while it is confused is the only way to escape its wrath. Explore more about the ocean at oceaninfo.com.